Okay, Bean, let's show him that 60 foot. You ready? <laughs> we were spinning the tires a little bit, but he got a good 60 foot there. Now on with the video. Alrighty folks, welcome back to the channel. Hey, I appreciate each and every one of you uh, that are watching the videos. Whether you're subscribed or not, I'm just happy you're watching the videos. But I'd love, really love it if you subscribe. Uh, but hey, that's enough about the channel. Y'all seen the star of the show, Bean, in his little 60 foot video. But uh, what we're here to talk about in this video is reasons why you would buy a higher trim versus buying a lower trim. Uh, and modifying so let's get to it all right folks so I came up with five reasons uh, why you would buy versus buying a lower trim uh, just to buy a lower trim or buy a lower trim and modify to get more power of it but before we get into that this video is brought to you by Starks performance and maintenance so any performance needs any maintenance needs whether that's installs, oil changes, whatever uh, the case you, you have, you need, uh, Starks Performance and Maintenance can take care of you. Everything's right up there. But let's get into this now. So reason number one, and this, this leads to all of the other reasons and, and really is just the opposite reason of uh, why to buy uh, a lower trim, and that's you have the money and the budget and or the budget to buy a higher trim. So if, if you have the money and, and it's in your budget and you're not gonna you're not gonna make yourself car poor uh, by buying it, hey, there's there's nothing wrong with buying a higher level trim, be it a scat pack, Hellcat, Red Eye, uh, Super Stock, whatever. Uh, whatever you can afford, comfortably afford, uh, you know, without putting yourself in a financial bind, hey, go ahead and do it. So that's that's number one reason, and it leads to all of the other reasons. If you can't afford it, please don't go out and, and, and put yourself, you or your family, in a bind by buying a higher level trim uh, when you can't afford it. All right, uh, but so that's number one. You got the money and the budget to afford it. Number two. You don't want to modify at all, right? Um, you know, you just you just want uh, you want a Scat Pack, you want a Hellcat, you want a Red Eye, you want a Super Stock. It's just something that you want and obviously can afford. Those are key. Um, and there's nothing wrong with uh, with you know wanting one of those higher level trims. Hey, do I want a Scat Pack or a Hellcat? Sure, I'd love to have a you know a, a Scat Pack or a Hellcat, but. Uh, I just can't afford it, right? Because uh, y'all know, y'all know every red penny for me goes into <laughs> goes into shake and bake at this point. But um, yeah, uh, if you can afford it, and you want it, go get it, right? Nothing wrong with that. Uh, number three, uh, number three is uh, it kind of goes along with not modifying. Uh, you don't want to modify, uh, so you you're probably not going to want to modify because you got a warranty. Um, you know, you got the first three years and 30, 33, normally three years, 36,000 miles uh, is the uh, the manufacturer warranty. Uh, I, I got to apologize for the wind noise if there's any. Hopefully there's not, but if there is, I apologize for it. But um, yeah, warranty is key, right? Anything goes wrong in those first three years, 36,000 miles, boom, right back to uh, uh, right back to the dealership and, and, and they fix it, uh, fix it. Uh, through the warranty right uh, and, and nowadays um, you know you can buy uh, obviously aftermarket or some of the manufacturers have a lifetime warranties where a majority of your car would be covered for lifetime now you're gonna have to pay for that right uh, but if you pay for a lifetime warranty you're not gonna be able to modify your car 
Uh, there, there's some things you can do, get away with modifying your car and still be under warranty, uh, but you're not going to be able to make significant power uh, without voiding that warranty unless you go through Direct Connect, um, uh, specifically for Dodge folks. Uh, and, and Direct Connect is, is a little iffy right now. Uh, there's been a lot of videos on, on the problems and issues with Direct Connect. Uh, if you want any of those, go search YouTube for Direct Connect videos and, and they'll go through all of that stuff with you. But um, yeah, warranty uh, would be number three. Um, number four. You can always modify if you want to, <laughs> right? Just because you buy a Scat Pack or a Hellcat or a Red Eye or a Super Stock doesn't mean you still can't modify, right? Now you got again, it goes back to, to you know if you don't want to void your warranty, uh, you know, or you got the money in the event you can, uh, uh, you know, cover the cost of a uh, uh, of things failing after uh, after you do the modification. Hey, that's fine but uh you can still modify there's a lot of things you can do to a scat pack um uh, and you know they're really just as expensive as doing things on a uh, on a 5.7 so you know supercharger uh cam all of those things you can do those to a 6.4 uh you know if, if you want significant power you got to do drop-ins just like a 5.7 you have to you know upgrade the drivetrain uh, and the pistons and the rings and rods and all of that, right? But you can still modify and Hellcat, right? You're already there. I mean, um, you know, uh, a smaller upper pulley, 10%, 15% lower pulley, boom, you're making, you know, you're making significant power right there. Um, so, uh, you know, it's a little, sometimes it's a little cheaper to modify on the high end uh, but there's some expensive modifications that, that you can do on the high end too, but yeah, you can still modify your vehicle. Just, just, uh, you know, if you buy, if you buy a, a higher level trim, everybody does, there's a lot, not everybody, but a lot of people do it. Right. Um, uh, and the last reason, and this one kind of goes along with, uh, the first couple, right? It is you just want that immediate power without having to modify. So that's kind of going, kind of goes along with not wanting to modify, uh, but it, it it's kind of on its own too, right? Because um, you may want to modify in the future, but you want that that power right now. You know, the 5.7, uh, they, they roughly start to the wheels, roughly around 330, 340. The scat packs are usually in the 4. 2430 range uh hellcats are in the 620 630 range somewhere around in there so uh you know buying higher level trim you got that immediate power uh without modifying to, ha to have a pretty high horsepower car comparatively speaking to a, a, a majority of cars out there um you know you can buy into that that 485 at the crank or you can buy into uh, that's 710 at the crank or 707 at the crank or, or the 797 at the crank, right? You can just buy into that power and then, you know, take your time and modify further on down the road, right? Um, you know, whether you buy it, pay for it up front or your, your payments, uh, you know, there's a lot of things you can do uh, to stave off modifying but still have a high horsepower car that's, that's fast. Um, uh, you hear a lot of people like e even nowadays uh, a lot of people are like nine second cars aren't fast uh, i'm here to tell you a nine second car is fast a 10 second car is fast an 11 second car is fast uh comparatively speaking to the car most of the cars on the road an 11 second car is fast now you get into the race scene and you get serious into the race scene. Yeah, those nine second cars or 10 second cars, uh, they're not as fast as other cars, but I'm telling you, if you're running uh, 11, nine, 10, 11 seconds in a quarter mile, you've got, you've got a fast car. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on that later, but um, 
you know, don't let no one say, oh, you only ran a 10.5, your car's not fast. And don't, don't, don't let people get away with that, man. And, and a majority of the time, that's going to be a person that doesn't have a 10-second car anyway. <laughs> All right? Um, but, yeah, don't, 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 don't let them, don't let that chatter bother you. Um, scat packs are fast. Five sevens are fast. Hellcats are fast. Red eyes are fast. Super stocks are fast. Whatever. Uh, you know, in those lineups, those cars are all fast. Let's be honest. So, you know, getting that immediate power, getting that immediate thrill uh, to where you don't want to have to modify. Because depending on um, how this should have been one of the modification ones, it, it is, you know, depending on, your, uh, on how much you want done to your car all at one time, your car could be down for two, three months. Um, and, and that's either because of labor or parts, uh, whatever. Uh, you know, modifying sometimes does take a lot of time uh, to get things done. Where, uh, you know, if you buy, buy a Scat Pack, a Hellcat, whatever, uh, you're immediately there. So those are my five reasons why to go ahead and buy an upper level trim. Um, you know, there's probably many more, uh, but those, those are the five that I came up with. If you come up with some, some other ones, Hey, put them in the comments. That'd be great. Uh, but that's going to do it for this one, folks. If you're stopping in for the first time, please check out the rest of the channel. If you like what's going on with the channel, do me them few things like subscribe, smash the bell, shoot me a comment, share it on your social media. I'll appreciate it. Shake and bake will definitely appreciate it because every red penny from YouTube goes right back into shake and bake. I promise you that. Uh, that's it for this one, folks. Until next one. Adios.